All right, let's get into a video about five records with closing tracks that are out of sight. But first, we're going to get into some other stuff. This video is going to be all over the place, and it's going to go into areas <clears throat> that are unexpected. Here we go. This is a bag of Doritos. The flavor is spicy pineapple jalapeno flavored. It's called Solid Black. I found these at the store. I bought two of them. They were on sale. And they don't taste very good. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the pineapple, but they just don't taste very good. They, they are a little spicy, but they just don't taste very good. Anyway, the spicy pineapple jalapeno solid black Doritos. Eh. They're... They're, they're not a Dorito must-have. <clears throat> okay, let's get into something wild. This is a Blu-ray, little tin thing, of the movie Mandy with Nicolas Cage and Andrea Risenborough. I read about this movie, and the reviews were really, really good. So... I bought it. I've never seen it before. Oh, and here's some tattoos. Yeah, these are tattoos of um, Cheddar Goblin, which is a commercial within the movie. And this is two discs. Each, well, one disc is a Blu-ray, the other one's a DVD, and they, they're both just replicas of each other. Okay. So, never saw Mandy before. Not even a hint of it. Didn't know what it was about at all. <clears throat> so one night, I ate 10 pieces of one of these little chocolate bars. The polka dot milk chocolate. What's it say here on the back? Um, doo -doo -doo. oh, well, let's read it to you. Made with love in Oakland, California. One of the oldest and safest medicines in the world, psilocybin and psilogen from psychedelic mushrooms have been known to reduce stress depression, stimulate brain cell growth, increase focus, and sharpen your senses. And on here, one to three pieces, stimulate the mind. Four to nine pieces, mindful and elevated. And then 10 to 15 pieces, walls might melt. Well, I had um, 12. So I took 12 little pieces of this psilocybin chocolate <clears throat> and during that time, I was having fun around the house, and then I thought, well, I'll put on this movie. <clears throat> oh, don't know if I should have done that, because this is a very psychedelic m movie, but it's like creepy psychedelic, in like in a bad, creepy way, and it's real slow moving, and there's lots of um, colors and stuff like that. It literally looks like what the box shows here. And if that wasn't bad enough, I watched it after eating ew, some of that candy bar. So it was a very um, memorable experience. Very, very frightening, but in a positive way. And the, the deal is, I don't think I'll ever watch that movie again because to watch it without... Um, a large dose of psilocybin in you, I don't know, it just wouldn't seem right. So, this is, I own it. I'm only got, I only watched it once. I'm never going to watch it again because with this stuff, it's not a replica. Each time is very different. So there you go. That's something most people have never done. I mean, I'm sure people have watched that movie on psilocybin, but have they ever watched it for the first time? 
All right, more on Mandy. <clears throat> so, I was impressed with my experience with the movie, <clears throat> so I bought the soundtrack to the movie. It's very moody and creepy and dark and scary. Um, side two is very different from side one. Wow, you can't even see that cover. Anyway, this came in it. This is what the disco looks like. And this is a good listen, especially if you play it at 40 RPMs. It just really helps it if you play it at 40 RPMs. And this is the little wraparound that came with it. So that's the soundtrack to my little Nightmare Mandy movie. Okay, let's get into some other discos. <clears throat> let's get into the five records with closing tracks that are out of sight. <clears throat> this is The Vindictives Presents Hypnopunko. This is a good record. It's available for a stupid price. Somebody will want like $70 for this thing. And does mine have the poster? What's in this? I haven't gotten this record out in a long time. Yes, it does have the poster. And then the lyric book is just one of these. That was cheap. I remember when they used to just go the lame way and put everything in this when it should be bigger for the LP and um, at one point I must have had this hanging on a wall anyway why don't I get into the song quit worrying about whether there's holes in a poster okay the last song on this thing is called In Pursuit it's different from all the other songs in length and in character. So if you would like to hear it, <clears throat> I'm sure on YouTube you can hear the whole Hypnopunko by the Vindictives. Or you can jump right to the song In Pursuit. Because it is a closing track that you'll never forget. Extremely catchy. Okay, this is the <clears throat> Underground Railroad to Candyland. That's the band. Name of the record is The People Are Home. This thing's got 13 songs on it. Some are better than others. All are good. And then there's the last track, The People Are Home. Wow. What a powerful catchy way to end this record and it is the best song on the record so again youtube underground Rail railroad to candyland jump down to the people are home all right let's take this out oh we're going through them now okay this is sammy davis jr sings great tv tunes and I've shown this thing before, and it's got, well, he just sings the little theme song from TV shows that you used to watch in the 70s. And uh, I guess it's okay. It's kind of a funny thing to have until you get to the last track. The very last track, he's singing the theme to Maud. And if you pull that pitch up to 40 RPMs, wow, you have got a rock and roll spectacular because Sammy belts it out. He puts he puts something into that song that you don't hear when you start watching the TV show mod. He puts something different into it and the difference is a world of difference. I um I just recorded um him singing mod and I play that song all the time. It's just a joy to hear. Um, and I, I would tell you to go to YouTube and check it out, Sammy Davis Jr. singing Maud, but I haven't found it on there. I, I haven't found any part of this record audio-wise on the internet. This record is from India, and that's where I ordered it from. 
So I guess to hear it, you could um, tell me to burn you a CD of the record if you'd want it, or you could buy it like I did. Anyway, that's Sammy Davis Jr. singing Maud. Wow, he does a good job. Okay, this is the Cramps. Fiends from Dope Island. Last song, <clears throat> excuse me, last song is Wrong Way Ticket. Wow. You're going through this album, and the songs are just rocking. You know, you're really enjoying this thing. Just one of the best Cramps releases ever. And then you hit the last song. Wow. And you're going, I don't know how they turned it up a notch, but somehow they did. You, I, I couldn't believe I was hearing a song that was way more powerful than all the other songs. And all the other songs like Big Black Witchcraft Rock and The Fisher of Rolando and Dope Fiend Boogie. How are you going to get better than that? Well, they did. Fiends of Dope Island by the Cramps. What a great closing track. Wrong way ticket. Okay, this is the album I just showed in. It's the Adolescence Live, Anaheim. Closing track on this is Kids of the Black Hole. Uh, the version of Kids of the Black Hole on this thing is kind of extended, you know, because it's a live one. And wow, they really do a good job. Especially um, Tony Adolescent on the vocals. He just puts extra into it. It's just such a joy to hear. So, last song, Adolescence Live, House of Blues, Kids of the Black Hole. Best song on the album, and wow, there's just a lot of good songs on this album. So that's saying something. Okay, that's it. For those, um, I can show some other stuff. Here's a band I put up on YouTube where they're wearing um, my cloaks or something. They, they look like this. I went down and seen them. I left the show early because it was so hot in there. <clears throat> the sanctuary didn't have the air conditioning on. That's too bad. Anyway. This is a poster. Autographed it for me. <coughs> of the very spooky, kind of <coughs> slow, melodic band. And this is a record album I bought from the merch table. Oh, here's the front cover. Very great, um, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call that. I guess ink on the paper. Very fancy ink on the paper. Not too much to look at on the inside. And this, I can't pronounce the name of this band. Jeez. Um, maybe it's on the side. But no, but it's written the same way on the side as it's written there. So um, I'll just call them um, Babushka from the dance from the Adams Family movie. That's a nice positive way to describe it and to describe this record. Again, I, I sped it up. I had to. They kind of take a long time with the songs. Anyway, it's kind of spooky and... Kind of like um, seance -y, but catchy. It, it's good. It's a good record. <laughs> and I'm not even telling you the name of it because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> okay, let's get into some other stuff. Oh, and, and I would suggest um, people do this. But these are only available in... Um, well, they're made in Oakland, California, so... It, can't just go to the store and buy this thing. It's it's legal here in Michigan. Actually, no, it's legal in Detroit, and it's it's legal in cities. I think it's legal in um, Washington D.C., Oakland, California, and Detroit, and then probably Portland, Oregon, and maybe Denver. Anyway, yeah, th this stuff's good for you. It definitely helps you study when you need to study and memorize a bunch of stuff. Okay. This record is called The Frogs. And the name of it is The Frogs' First Record. Now, <clears throat> in my opinion, 
The Frogs made the best record ever recorded, and that was My Daughter the Broad by these two dudes. This is nothing like My Daughter the Broad. This is a psychedelic record. So if you're in the if you're into the psychedelic, you'll like the Frogs' first record. It's it's a psych album. It sounds just like what this cover looks like, but it's not My Daughter the Broad. It's and I was kind of expecting it to be, and it's not. So. For me, it was a little bit of a heartbreak, but not too much of one. Here's the lyric sheet that came with it. All right, let's get into the last record. This is a hardcore punk rock record called Deep Wound. And um, they're from the early 80s. I think they're from Hartford, Connecticut, or Boston, or somewhere. They're an East Coast hardcore punk rock type situation. Here's what the record looks like. And what's this record called? Damaged Goods by Deep Wound. Okay, that Deep Wound record, the more you listen to it, uh, the more you hear in it. And it just becomes as catchy as DRI dealing with it, but doesn't sound like DRI at all. So if you see Deep Wound in your record store, pick it up, <clears throat> give it five listens, and you'll be addicted to it. Uh, you'll just love it. I, I play that one a lot. Oh, and the music in the background is the um, soundtrack to this movie that I can't watch again because the first time I ever watched it, um, my mind was blown. <laughs> okay. Also, uh, microdosing um, psilocybin keeps you in a good mood. And you don't sweat the small stuff, and that's good. It's nice to be around people who don't sweat, sweat the small stuff, and they're, they're in a good mood. Um, not a psychotic good mood, but they're just in a regular good mood like I am most of the time. And it, I wish more people had access to that. Um, there, there just wouldn't be so much anger, because it just kind of reconnects the part of your brain that needs to be reconnected for you to not be a jerk. All right, that's the end of this video. Hey, I'm on my way to the Hamtramck Labor Day Music Fest with the Stools, Pat and the Pissers, and Werewolf Jones, and to close the night out, the Dead Milkmen are playing, and it's all free. It's on the street. Um, I don't know if I'll stick around for the Dead Milkmen. Who knows? I, I kind of heard a little bit of them, and I don't have any of their records, but it's free. Maybe if I'm not too tired of being out in the sun, but definitely the Stools. Pat and the Pissers, and Werewolf Jones, I will be there for that because they just play one right after the other. Okay, that's it for the video.